morning YouTube it's Rob here from the homestead um, today is a uh, run around day for me it's the uh, 14th of May um, tomorrow is go topless day and uh, our local Jeep club is going to do um, a fundraiser uh, up in Morrisville, Vermont. So we're going to go up there tomorrow morning. I wanted to get a bunch of running around done. And uh, one of the local stores had called and said uh, the sheathing for the house that we had ordered a couple months ago has finally come in. Um, and it's the Zip R uh, by Huber. Um so I've hired a armed guard and uh, we're going to go uh, over with the gladiator pulling the trailer. So this is a first to the gladiator um, and we'll see how it does. Um, and we'll go get the tens of thousands of dollars worth of sheathing that I didn't pay tens of thousands of dollars because I bought it quite a while ago and it just hadn't come in so um, with that said we'll get after it all right guys we have picked up our load from the building supply store and um, we just got off the interstate we had a short section of interstate we had to go down and um, I don't know I got it up to 55 and I thought that was pre pretty good um, it's certainly not like the old Cummins where you didn't even know something was there. You definitely know that we have a load on. Um, on the secondary roads, I'm going, you know, 40 in it. it seems to be doing all right. Um, I definitely am going to get that uh, trailer brake that um, you plug in on the trailer and you plug in up here and it's uh, wireless. Um, that's uh, that's definitely on the agenda for purchases for the Jeep because um, I do I do notice that the Jeep wants to downshift all the time because um, I think it's uh, built into the programming when you put a trailer on it realizes something is back there and it um, it kind of reprograms itself for a trailer so um, we'll get home. I'll fill you in on the fuel mileage. Um, right now, it's not oops, it's not looking real good. Let's see, she wants to scream. Yeah, three miles to the gallon, going up the hill. Um, yeah, I'm, I was up to eighteen three, and I'm down to fifteen nine now, and it's just steadily dropping. Um, but as little as I pull the trailer around, it's going to be fine. Um, so we get home. I'll let you know what's going on. Um, it is uh, the Huber Zip R. Got an example of it right here. And it's just um, this... Uh, it being tech um, zip system uh, with two inches of, of uh, foam insulation adhered to it. Um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of YouTube videos out now with um, this system. Um, the build show. Uh, Matt does a lot of uh, a lot of stuff on this system um, so I think that uh, it'll only enhance our house so once we get to that point we got it thank goodness that I purchased that before everything went crazy and I'm wondering how I'm gonna secure it here I don't think anyone will bother it we live in the middle of nowhere and uh, I'll have some parked between the trailer and the exit. So 
Um, all in all, the uh, the Gladiator didn't do too bad. I was uh, a little surprised and happily surprised. Um, we were talking about it when we started heading up our road. And uh, the closest thing I've had to this, as far as the way it tows, we used to have, we had an 03 Avalanche. Man, the little black flies are crazy. Um, we had an Avalanche, and uh, it's similar to that in the way it pulls. I know the torque is a little bit different. Probably the horsepower is about the same. That 5.3, when it first came out, wasn't a powerhouse. No, it wasn't bad. But... Um, yeah, I was pretty happy with it. You know, I think a trailer brake will go a long ways to help it. So, anyways, I'm going to get out of black flies. Uh, like, subscribe. Have a great day, guys.